Hey everybody, um, I've been asked to work an expected returns problem um, for a biology major because they want to be at medical school. <clears throat> However, you find out uh, once you decide on this that the probability of being accepted to medical school is only about 10%. Well, if you get into medical school, then your starting salary will be $300,000 a year. Evidently, if you aren't accepted, then you're going to go work in a zoo. I guess in feed the monkeys and clean out the snake cage where you will earn forty thousand dollars a year we're not going to consider additional education years or the time value of money we're going to just figure out what is the expected started salary um, or the expected value of your started salary and then figure out the standard deviation expected value is simply the same thing as the mean or the average of a binomial distribution because what's going to happen is either you're going to get into medical school or you're not well we know that all probabilities sum to one so we're able to determine that if the probability of being accepted to medical school is 10 percent then the probability of you not being accepted into medical school is now 90 percent so what I've done here is I've simply set up a standard um, probability distribution and here is your 10% probability of getting into school, your 90% probability of not getting into school because we know that the sum of a probability distribution has to equal 1. Now what we've looked at is what is associated with each probability and that's your salary. So there's a 300 thousand dollar payoff for that 10 percent chance you're going to medical school and a forty thousand dollar payoff with the 90 percent probability that you're not going to medical school and you're going to be a zookeeper in order to determine the expected value of a dis distribution we simply take the sum of x which is this right here which is our outcome times the associated probability of x which is this piece down here, and we add them together. So what I've done is I've come down here and I've taken the $300,000 payoff times the 10% probability of receiving that payoff, plus, meaning because remember we sum it, the $40,000 payoff of being a zookeeper times the 90% probability. When we add those two numbers together, we determine that the expected value or expected started salary given these two probabilities up here is $66,000. So we could say without considering additional education years or time value, my expected starting salary is going to be $66,000. All right, let's take a look at how we do the standard deviation of this. All right, in order to, in order to come up with the standard deviation, of this type of probability distribution, we're going to follow this formula right here that I've given you. And because it's standard deviation, we know that we're going to have to do the square root. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to do take the sum of each x, which is this value up here, this x, minus the mean. Right? We just calculated the mean to be $66,000. We're then going to square it up here. Then we're going to take the result of x minus mu squared. We're going to turn around and multiply it by the underlying probability of that value. We're going to add them all together. We're going to apply a square root. We should come up with a standard deviation. So uh, let me do a little bit of math and I'll be right back with you. Okay. So through the magic of Excel and the pause button on my Camtasia, what I've done is I've broken down this formula into the piece parts that we need. We know that we need, in order to come up with the mean that we came up with up here, we need x times the sum of x times the probability of x. So I've just recreated my mean right here because we're going to need it again. Now the next piece of our formula is x minus mu. So what I've done here is I've taken x, $300,000, minus 66,000 gives me 234,000. Gone down here and said 40,000 
minus the mean of 66,000 gives me a negative 26,000. But the formula requires that I square it. And they requires, it requires that I square it because I've got to get rid of that negative value. So when I square 234,000, I come up with this ginormous number. I square a negative 26,000, and I come up with this number. So now, basically what we've done is we have gotten rid of this part. We have completed this part of the calculation and the formula here to say x minus mu squared. Final, last but not least, is I need to multiply the value of x minus mu squared back by the probability of x, which means I'm going to take this number times the probability of x, which is going to get knock off, thank goodness, a few zeros. I'm now taking this value, multiplied it by the associated probability of 0 0.90 to come up with this number. And because my formula says to sum, right here, this big sigma, right here says sum, it just tells me, go ahead, add those, those two together, and gives me this value. This value right here is the variance of the distribution. That's the variance. But the problem, remember, wanted us to see what the standard deviation was. So in order to come up with that standard deviation out of this number, I simply turned around and took the square root of that, and it gave me the standard deviation of this expectation, um, of this distribution up here of my 10% probability of becoming a $300,000 a year doctor, or the 90% probability that I was going to be a $40,000 a year clean out the monkey cage employee, the standard deviation ends up being $78,000. So I hope that this helped. Um, appreciate uh, you asking me to work the problem, and um, have a great day.